Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. Oh, I you see. You said how this... I could do the intro. I did not say you could do the intro. Just talking. go. Okay. Yeah, animal. Hello, everybody. Yeah. I'm what? leaving this in, even, by the way. I didn't even do anything to you. Let you know what? Go. Screw you. You can, you can, you can figure this out yourself. No, he jumped on a helicopter. Drive. Hello everyone, welcome to Nuclear Pineapple. Today we are playing uh, some Grand Theft Auto V, and uh, clearly I'm here. Guess who else is here? The rest of the crew, Cameron and Nolan. Oh my gosh, I've been blown to pieces. <laughs> that is how you start an episode. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> that was so dope! It's like that one gif where the mom's chasing her son, and he's like naked <laughs> running. Have you guys seen that one? <laughs> No? What are you talking about? If you can find Matt, Matt, please put it in. What is your guys' opinion on uh, my boy Phil Nye? I thought you were going to say, what is your guys' opinion on the 2016 presidential election? No, 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 I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm a boy Phil Nye. Not Phil, Phil Nye. Nye, Phil Nye. Phil, Phil Nye is, uh, you might Dr. know his uh, much more, no, Phil Nye, you might know his, uh, you know, more popular brother. Phil Nye? <laughs> no, not Bill Nye. Frank. Frank the Plumber. You might know Frank the Plumber, but uh, Phil Nye, Phil Nye's a cool guy. I have no idea what's happening. I've heard right that now. Phil Nye has actually committed 13 murders. Yeah, I believe it. Matt, I, I, back, I at it ag it. I don't, back at I have, it again with the ADHD mind. You just randomly bring up this character that nobody's heard of, Phil Nye. <laughs> I just made him up, okay? Now you're, now you're making stuff up for views. Come on, Matt. We never actually mentioned it in any other video that we were going to be doing this, but we want to turn the channel into sort of a more variety channel, so we will be uploading some stuff that isn't gameplay at yeah. some point. So just it's keep your eye out for that. It's probably going to be a month or two, so. Yeah, it's going to be a while, because it takes a while for us to coordinate videos, because we're not always <laughs> online at the same time. And uh, when it comes to stuff that's not gameplay, it's not going to be in real time. We have to script it, so that'll take a while. He going to eat my dust. Oh, you can choose? Alright, well, screw you guys. I'm going to left to the right. Oh. Yeah, I'm going home. Dude, everybody choose the same car. Oh, I know. Nolan's got a different car. And I'm sure, Nolan, car. I'm sure Nolan's car is going to suck, and then he's going to complain about how he cheated. This does happen fairly often. When no! 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 My car rocks. Just because you had... Physics on your side does not mean your car rocks. Oh yeah, I went on my first roller coaster recently. What? How have you never been on a roller coaster, man? I've been on a roller coaster, but it was a crappy one. This is the first roller coaster I've ever been on that went fast and had a loop in it. Ooh, a went loop. Down, like it's weird because it went so fast that your body like curls up when you go through the loop. Coming up. Let's do it. I want you to get excited about your life. Here we go, in 10. Standby camera six. If it's happening now, we're going to deal with it now. Stand by, Dr. Phil. This is going to be a changing day in your life. Well, today, folks, we have uh, Cobb with Matt on. He's going to tell us about why he hates everything. Well, uh, early on in life. We also, uh, we, also, we also have his mother here because, uh, like all Dr. Phil presentations, the mother is always the root of the problem. Anyways, what were you asking me, Dr. Phil? Why do you- why And do you... to commercial break! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Phil, Just like, could we, could we continue that, uh, that Dr. Phil bit? Because I, I really want to talk about what's going on. Do you know the show Pawn Stars? Yeah, I know Pond everything Pond. about Pawn Stars. I've, I've always, I've always wanted to go on that show it's and, fake. like, have something. And, um, they always start out saying what they're wanting for price. I want to walk in there and be like, I want $1,200 for it. And I go up to the front, and he's like, well, I got a buddy who's a, who's an expert in this. And they bring in the buddy, and he's like, well, it's worth, like, 500 bucks. I'm like, I want 1200 And they always do that bit where he tries to negotiate down. And I would be like, 1200 he He'd be like, uh, 400 I'd be like, 1200 And he'd eventually <laughs> have to budge because the episode has to continue forward. At that point, I don't think they'd air the episode, man. They would totally air the episode, though. Think about it. They don't really rely on the pawn shop for money. They rely on the episodes because they get paid for the episode. So I would just not budge on price at all. Budging is for I just want to walk out there like a rock star oh. and be like, it was only worth 50. He paid me 200 for it, and then I dropped the mic. There's some really slimy dudes on there. 
like Chumley. Yeah, like got doesn't his, Chumley do Chumley? crack cocaine? Yeah, he got his house raided <laughs> by the FBI. <laughs> He got they his found, house swatted. They he was found on stream no, on Twitch. No, they found this like room called the Chumley Chamber, and there were like stripper poles and like cocaine. Oh my gosh, the Chumley Chamber! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, I don't like, know. A guy to get a chamber named after. He had himself. like he had like trap doors filled with weed and stuff. I mean, like, the word and, like, chamber and is, stuff. is reserved for like the Chamber of oh, Secrets. Cha- yeah, the Chamber, chamber of, of Secrets. And a Chamber of Commerce, like. How did he get his own chamber? How do I get my own chamber? Well, you gotta be filthy, stinking rich. You gotta have drugs. You gotta have women. You gotta have a pawn shop. Uh, you know, for a while, you know that whole Battletoads thing where they would call a GameStop and ask for Battletoads? No, a while I did back, not. A while back, they decided, you know what? We need to call the guys from Pawn Stars <laughs> and ask for Battletoads. So for like a month, people from 4chan were calling the Pawn Stars place <laughs> and asking for Battletoads. <laughs> and at one point... Somebody called, and um, they were like, this Someone. better not be about Battletoads. And they said, uh, what? And he's like, oh, sorry, we've been getting a lot of prank calls. He's like, any- anyways, um, I-, I was calling to look if I could get, like, an antique box, you know, to put blankets in and stuff for my house. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we-, we should have something like that. And he, like, went over into the box, and they're like, okay, okay, how's it, how's it look? He's like, well, it looks like this, blah, blah, blah. He's like, could you look inside it for me? He's like, yeah, sure. And he opens the box, and uh, they're like, uh, hey, one question. Does it have Battletoads in there? <laughs> and he's like, dang! <laughs> Who was on there, Chumley? I think it was the main guy, the bald guy, who always has a buddy. Rick Harrison? I think so, yeah. Hey, um, it's Rick Harrison, my son, Rick Harrison. I own a pawn shop called Rick Harrison. <laughs> I hope you get killed. Not even. I, I hope know, you get Rick Harrison. I hope, yeah. I hope you get killed, and then your your appendages are. You're gonna fond end up in the Chum Lee chamber. Dude. I, I was sorry. just about to say that. I was just about to say that. Yeah, who knows what goes on in the Chum Lee chamber? I mean, we can make I, our guesses. I have a very lot in the Chum Lee chamber. I feel like I feel like there's more to the story than. <laughs> Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is the Chum Lee chamber. <laughs> I would totally watch that episode. By the way, I have a great uh, a great idea for a series pitched to MTV. Is it Rick Harrison? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not called the it's not called Rick Harrison, but it is uh, close. Anyways, you know how they have MTV Cribs? Pawn I'm, shop. I'm wanting Pawn shop tour. Called, no, I'm wanting to create a series called MTV Crips, and it, it just follows around gang members. Hey, it's like Pokemon and, Go, and, and Team Mystic like, versus Team And this is where we Valor. host our drug operation. Do you think that uh, the Bloods and Crips, like, do you think they follow Team Valor and Team Mystic and stuff? I, I'm pretty I sure all of the Bloods would be Team Valor because that's red. Yeah. And all the Crips would be Team Instinct because I think Crips's color is yellow. They have, like, yellow bandanas, right? But Team Instinct is, like, the like the smallest team. I know. That's why That's why the um, that's where the Crips got to be Team Instinct. They're making it stronger, man. You got the Crips on your side mm, <laughs> if, if you're on Team Instinct. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe if y'all want to, and y'all do. See y'all later. Bye.